Welcome back to Full Stack Automation with Ruby. In the last video, we took a look at getting started with Appium. Um, and in that video, we saw briefly this tool called Appium Inspector, um, which previously has always been a downloaded app that you need to update different versions. However, uh, the folks at Headspin, Appium Pro, push this capability tool into a browser. So if you notice in the last video, I was in Chrome, uh, and this I'm in Firefox, and I just visit this uh, URL, and I get our Appium Inspector, the latest and greatest. Um, so this is a really neat tool, really powerful. Uh, I'll just give you a quick tour of it in this video. So um, <clears throat> you see here there are a couple of tabs. There's like cloud providers. Uh, this is for using Appium Inspector in a Sauce Labs or a remote uh, where you run your builds. Um, I will probably do a video of that later. This is a finicky iPad session. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the Appium server, which we're going to get running it locally and, um, for, uh, remote host and remote port. And we'll get that for, these are the defaults that when we start up Appium server locally, we'll see that, uh, reflect that. So let's look at uh our alias here okay appium remember we need to allow cores in order to uh use the um browser inspector for appium um so we'll start that up and we see our appium 2.0 which is good and we have our allow cores true <clears throat> and we're loading the xui test at port 4723 so everything looks good this should work for us uh to manipulate uh, this simulator with um, Appium. So we have a couple, uh, we have this advanced tags, you really don't need to use this, um, but uh, I haven't used it yet, so, but if you need to use a proxy or uh, certificates, then you can get into that. Um, so let's look at this desired capabilities. Uh, you'll see a couple text fields, a pick list, and values so as we type out our capabilities here we get a nice json format that we can just copy and paste into our code to run test with uh, so let's just walk you through that um, just make sure you have this automatically add necessary app inventor prefixes which it needs for i think it's because of 2.0 so <clears throat> our first capability we're going to put in our platform name and it'll be text and we'll just do ios and you'll see it spit out here in json for us and then the next one will be platform version and we'll do 14.5 uh, that looks good and then we'll need our device name text and i'll just do this iphone 12 we have running here well um, and we need the automation name which is our XUI test uh, I think that's it so we have our capabilities here to start working with this uh, simulator and Appium so if I go ahead and click let's save this um, and I believe these are saved in browser cache somewhere so if I did iPhone 12 here I don't know Firefox you would not see this configuration in, in that Chrome so let's try that um, and we'll start it okay cool looks like we have our uh, Appium Inspector running in Firefox. So if we go ahead and launch our app here, I was messing around with that earlier. Um, and if we have these, or we have these buttons up here. So if you hover over, you should see some help text. Let me just bring that into view. So refresh here uh, shows us the view here. Um, there is a back button, which I don't know what that's going to do because the app's already open. You can search for specific IDs, accessibility IDs, uh, which is very handy. You can 
copy the XML, uh, you can close this inspector session, um, you can tap by coordinates, swipe by coordinates, so I haven't used these too much, but uh, I think I, I used them a couple times, which came in handy, but mostly um, just searching for elements, uh, you can find by accessibility ID, email, text field, uh, and you get all the attributes here. Um, another cool part here is the timing, where it shows you the fastest way to retrieve an element. Um, so that's handy. And let's try this recording a bit. So if I start there and I start manipulating the app inspector session of our app here, uh, like if I clear, you'll see the code uh, generate up here, which is very handy. Uh, and if I wanted to, let's say, send keys to this field, We see it happen here as well as our code and we also have of course we want to see it in Ruby so uh, there it is for us right there to copy and paste pretty neat um, we can pause the recording there and so yeah that's uh, a quick overview of Appium Inspector uh, from the browser thanks for watching